What's up, y'all? I'm finna show y'all the method I use every time I get on GTA 5 uh, to make money in RP. Now, this mission is called Denial of Service. You can do this 100% solo and it's 100% legit, but it's just a balanced way of missions that I found that gives me a decent amount of money. Now, as I said, you could do this solo, uh, but as you see, I had a friend. You could just drop them off over there at the jet so they can get up in the air then rush to the city once you rush to the city you will want to destroy the trucks and after you do that it'll be one last truck that you need to destroy but and it will be containing a package now if you blow up the truck the package will not get destroyed which is great for you to collect the package and get right back into the jet take off and deliver it to lester now with missions uh i consider the best missions to pay at least ten thousand dollars because I mean a bounty is nine thousand, so I mean you should at least get ten thousand dollars for doing a mission. On this particular instance, I'm gonna get eighteen thousand dollars for this mission, but uh, it usually pays around ten to twelve. I really haven't calculated why it changes too much. Uh, I play it multiple times solo, and I get paid around ten to twelve, and sometimes eighteen thousand. I don't know why. Now, if you have the cops on you after your jet explodes, or some reason you get the cops on you, you will have to evade them. But a method I have found that works most of the time, and I said most, is to go behind the boxes over here and just hide. But since I have a friend or a random player in this game, hiding behind the boxes is not an option. So if you have to leave and go hide someplace. This is what I found the most effective as it will be a good place to hide from cops on foot and from choppers. After you get the cops off you, the mission will be completed after you get the package to Lester. Now this is 100% legit, it's not a glitch mission and this is just what I do every time I get online.